I'm glad to be here for you, brother. And um, before I start my hilarious stories, I was wondering if you could just turn the teleprompter off for a second. I just want to speak from the heart. Uh, just quickly, I wanted to say that uh, um, yeah, turn it back on. I, 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 <laughs> I can't think of anything, but um, <laughs> anyway, Adam's always been a moron. Can you make it bigger? Um, first of all, let's start with uh, Adam is a very generous guy, as we've heard tonight. We all know this. He has hired his whole family tree to work for him. Uh, the call sheet looks like Ancestry.com. <laughs> I first saw Adam at the Improv. Was it the Improv? Yeah. Yeah? I, I don't know. They wrote this. Um, <laughs> at the Improv on a uh, random night, mm -hmm. and his style was so different, as you know, and it caught my attention right away. I laughed the whole time, and I just wanted to be friends with him, so we wound up being friends. Eventually, he came to Saturday Night Live. That was a few months after I did, and you never know how it's going to be there. It can be tough for some people. But the first time you did Weekend Update, he completely killed. Just blew the roof off. I was probably 10 feet away watching, and I was saying to myself, F <laughs> God damn it! He's better than me already! Jesus! <laughs> you know, it's amazing the career uh, Adam has had, uh, if you don't know this. Four billion dollars in movies with this much talent. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so much with this much talent. I mean, TV. Movies, records, and can you push it? This much. Can you get that? This, where you can take a page. That much with this much. It's, it's very, very commendable. On a serious note, Adam Sandler just had hip surgery. And that's the first time Adam Sandler and hip shared a sentence. Um, <laughs> these ones are for your kids. Uh, this is like giving the Nobel Prize in medicine to Dr. Pepper. Adam Sandler, thousands of stand-up shows, dozens of movies, one haircut. <laughs> Never been done before or since. Adam starred in Billy Madison, dresses like Billy Eilish. <laughs> Calls himself the Sandman. I'll use it in a sentence. No one who's 56 should still call themselves the Sandman. <laughs> you know, in all seriousness, one time uh, a family member, uh, passed away, and um, people were scared to call me. They didn't want to say anything. They didn't know what to say. And Adam called. I didn't answer. He drove over, and uh, he came in. He wouldn't, uh, you know, he wouldn't leave until I answered. So he, he uh, whispered to me, Say ya ga ma Hey, yo, yo. Oh, depression. <laughs> and you know what? It's what I needed to hear at the time. <laughs> I love you, Sandman. Take care, brother. You, I'm in D.C. I feel like I should do some politics. I don't know, you know. I'm working on our president as we speak, Joe. So it says very sincere. Come on. I'm not kidding around. I'm serious. serious. I love when he whispers. I love when he's like my dad used to do that. Adam Sandler, Mark Twain Prize. Because he did a lot of great movies. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Adam, okay, this is everyone's done the Chabadu thing, but this is true. Because I was doing very well on the show when Adam showed up. I, and <laughs> Lauren Michaels said, um, Dana, would you just sort of, you know, have a meeting or check in on, on Sandler? You know, see what he's all about. Right? So Sandman comes in my office, looks like 13, big smile. And I'm like, how are you doing? He goes, oh, hi, I'm Adam, how are you, y'all? <laughs> and I go, what are you thinking for the show? And this is true. And he bent over and he goes, I'm thinking I got a guy that kind of goes, oh, ba, ta, ba, ta, ba, ta, ba, ta, ba, ta, ba, ta, ba, You know, he just goes crazy. I go, yeah, it's really good. Where's that, where's that gonna go to? He goes, sometimes I go, oh, shop, oh, <laughs> So I went back to Lauren's office. I told him what, what I heard. And, I, and Lauren, Lauren said, um, keep an eye on him. <laughs> then I said, I think he's going to be a big star. And Lauren said, right. <laughs>
I am honored to be here with all of Adam Sandler's friends and Pete Davidson. <laughs> Adam loves us all. And he shows his love by making us laugh, sharing his tremendous success with his family and the ones he loves, his friends. You know, people ask me, you know, why does Adam put me in so many movies? And it's, it's because he wants to laugh and share his tremendous success with his friends. Plus, I will do the really humiliating shit that he won't do. <laughs> Once we escaped his crazy fame and we flew uh, to Hawaii and we went to the far side of the island and at some private house, you know, and <laughs> immediately we got really paranoid that we were gonna get murdered and no one would find our body for weeks. <laughs> and then there was some guy working in the backyard on the building at one in the morning and he was wearing flip flops and a tank top and short shorts, which like is official Hawaiian maintenance gear. <laughs> anyway, we said hi and he turned around and he had this one milky eye. And Adam said to me, just like that, he said, you're gonna play him in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, and I knew he meant it. I knew it, you know. And I swear to God, it was like 12 months later, I'm wearing flip-flops, I got short shorts, and one milky eye going, you know, like, this one my good eye, <laughs> you know. The thing about Adam is most rewarding being his friend and being able to, like, someone who's, you've been so kind enough to share your success with me, is, is to see the impact of what it means for people. Because comedy and laughter is like music and it, it's like really good music and it's like really good food. It has an emotional memory attached to it. When you make somebody laugh, like Adam has done, you make them laugh with your family, with your kids and your grandparents. They remember that forever and that's why you're so loved. Anyway, I love you brother and I, I, there's no other way for me to end this but, but this way, with our good friend Dan Bola. I met you 33 years ago before we got on Saturday Night Live. I was making copies when the Cajun man arrived. It's been quite an inspiration growing old with you. You put me in like 25 movies. How about we do 50 more? To get even closer to you, I'm gonna move in next door. I'll watch you drink your coffee through binoculars as I grow old with you. You've made some great flicks. You rule Netflix. You make people laugh like there's nothing to it. You play weirdos. You grew a beard -o to hide your chin. If you ever need a boost, you know I'll tell you, you can do it! <laughs> you wrote the Hanukkah song, a celebration of the Jews. You bite your tongue whenever I say something crazy on Fox News. <laughs> I'll try not to get you in too much trouble, but no promises. As I grow old with you You sing funny songs for us Make me say hippopotamus You've made movies for 30 years, man What incredible endurance You do dramas, you love your mama You're why the half the people here Have their SAG health insurance <laughs> it's true. You've got two beautiful daughters and a wonderful wife. I know Big Stan is looking after you every day of your life. I love you like a brother. Thanks for growing old with me. That's why we went to all this fuss to say 
Thanks for growing 